Hello and good afternoon to everyone. So my name is Mama Isaac and Mama Ibrahim and my matrix number is 1981-78. So today I would like to explain a major disaster happens in Texas which is the uh, Phillips disaster 1989. So uh, this a company called Phillips 56 company which is a Houston chemical complex uh, in the Pasadena, Texas. So this company produces a million of tons of uh, plastics um, to be used for toys and also containers daily. So during uh, one day on 23 October 1999, so there were there was an explosion and fire rip through this company. So this explosion resulted to 23 fatalities and also uh, about 300 people injured. Uh, so this uh, explosion were uh, due to the flammable vapor cloud, uh, which resulting in the massive vapor cloud explosion. After the investigation, it was found that there were two main causes resulted to the accident. The first cause was inadequate training of workers, and the second cause was significant design flaw in the system. The detail of each cause will be explained in the next page. Philip had employed some subcontractors to perform the necessary maintenance work in the plant in order to cut costs. Fish Engineering and Construction, the primary subcontractor, did not have a good reputation even prior to the October 23rd disaster. There was one accident happened in August where a fish employee opened gas piping for maintenance without isolating the line. This had caused one worker die and four workers injured due to the ignition of the flammable sorrows and gas in the work area. The diagram above was the illustration of the system. The right hand side was the polyethylene reactor which connected to two tubes. It was shown in the diagram that the two tubes were interchanged. The two tubes were connected to a Demco valve and there was a lockout device on the valve. The left hand side was the storage tank and the tube after the valve was not connected to the tank. Therefore, flammable gas had been released to the environment. On 23rd October 1989, the contractor from Fish Engineering first closed the Demco valve and kept the lockout on to do the maintenance work. However, the maintenance worker later turned off the lockout device for some reason. The workers also connected the hose that supplied air to the wharf at Chatham Mechanism despite Philip operating procedures stipulated that the hoses should never be connected during maintenance. All this action due to inadequate training of workers had allowed the outflow of flamm flammable gas to the surrounding. The second cause was there was significant design flaw in the process design. The design flaw had led to the second mistake done by the ill trained maintenance worker who accidentally interchanged the horses and connected them backwards due to the two tips from the reactor had identical connectors onto the valve. When this happened, the Demco valve seemed close to the workers because they did not know the two tips were reversed. In reality, the pressure change from the switching of the horses opened the Demco valve. Next, I will be explaining the responses to the accident. The immediate response was given by Philip 66 Company Fire Bridget and was later joined by CIMA or short for Channel Industry Mutual Aid Organization. They provided first aid, search and rescue and firefighting with on-site equipment. Later, IPA joined them, which is short for Environmental Protection Agency, in which the on-site coordinator provided technical support to Philips to make sure that the emergency response protocols are in compliance with the National Contingency Plan. Next, the firefighting response was made complex because there was no designated water tank for the Philips complex to combat fires. So they have to use the same water source for from the chemical process for firefighting because the fire hydrants near the complex were blasted during the first explosion. Uh, the water were was brought by horses laid to distant sources and the fire was brought under control within about 10 hours. Lastly, search and rescue was done by the Harris County Medical Examiner and the County Coroner, uh, which was suspended until daylight to avoid resource possible explosion. And OSHA investigating staff were present to, I to investigate the causes of the accident. 
Let's discuss the anatomy of the event which started with hazard. The hazard consists of production of HTPE which is the metal hazard, identical connectors design, a large plastic material and interaction of ignition source with flammable gas which is the chemical interaction hazard. This leads to initiating cause, which uh, was explained by Jushin, uh, was mainly due to interchange holes to wrong connectors and leads to deviation of highly flammable gas release. And this causes loss event of 3.5 Richter explosion and causing impact of 23 fatalities and about 300 people injured, destroyed facilities and loss of 675 million US dollar property damage. I will be explaining about the safety investigation for the Philips disaster. There are three parts in safety investigation. The first one is contain and control, the second one is preventive safeguard, and lastly is the mitigative safeguard. Firstly, for the contain and control, the management did not do hazard analysis for the polyethylene plant, which had resulted to the serious safety deficiency that has been ignored. Next is that no rules and regulation to control the entry of vehicles or workers for line opening and hot work to the area which contain hazardous vapor was given. And lastly is that no, lo no lockout or takeout of equipment in a known hazardous, hazardous area. Going on to the preventive safeguard, the valve is not designed to have a backup such as double block and bleak valving ar arrangement as well as not designed to fail a safe, close safe meaning that close position when air pressure flowed through it. These design flaws were the main cause of the accident. And lastly, for the mitigative safeguard, uh, the ignition sources were introduced in an area which was highly hazardous without testing the presence of flammable, flammable gas. The lack of safety measures in the plant can cause a small spark to become great fire. And then, the confined vapor cloud explosion can easily happen due to ventilation system intakes for buildings were located in close proximity to or downwind from the hydrocarbon process or inventories. And lastly, the lack of maintenance in the fire protection system, particularly the fire fighting water supply and its associated pump has resulted to the inadequate fire fighting ability. Social impact and views are going to be divided to four parts where they are public community, legal response, company repetition and improvement. Public community. Nearby community feel sick after exposure to the farms in the air. Victims and their family members are traumatized for, from the incident. Second, company repetition. Phillips brought a team uh, of legal consultants to combat the, the backlash affecting servers of the accident and contended that they are ex ex exponentially safe mainly to maintain their stakeholders. Third, now we will move to the legal response. First, OSHA. Uh, they has called for creative action but legally ignored. OSHA had sought a 5.7 million fine on Philips company, which said that the plus was a result of a human error. Agreed in 1991 to pay 4 million fine only. Lawsuit by victims. 191 lawsuit was filled by victims on the blast. Only 21 workers still of the job with disabling injury received full compensation. And, and Tom Gentry, the president of Oil Chemical and Atomic Workers Local for 227, said that there has been there has been a disappointment over how the company has reacted to the whole incident. The company hasn't done enough to improve the situation. Now we will move to improvement. So, uh, better reinforced safeguards first. Second, establishment of control contact point for information about victims. Third, agreement on standard outdoor alarm system singles. Lastly, creation of checklist for monitoring and responding to to off-site emergency events. So next, I will talk about the discussion of this uh, topic. 
So this Philip City State uh, really took uh, lightly of this case and out after this uh, major disaster happened, uh, there were actually a series of incidents happened. Uh, as an example, is April 1919, a rain car containing a polypropylene blew up. And also in March 2000, uh, there's an explosion at the Pasadena complex. So from all these incidents, uh, it's vital to acknowledge the importance of um, safety features and procedures in a plan. So a professional conduct integrity and ethical value should be maintained in an organization. So as the conclusion, uh, OSHA was uh, concluded that the city state plan failed in a number of areas. So this uh, major violation was uh, due to the lack of process and analysis and also inadequate standardized operating. Uh, and this uh, disaster really served to show us the devastating consequences of failing to adhere to regulatory guidelines, especially in such a hazard-ridden industry.